Marizzi syndrome is defined as common hepatic duct obstruction caused by extrinsic compression from an impacted stone in the cystic duct or infundibulum of the gallbladder. Patients with Marizzi syndrome can present with jaundice, fever, and right upper quadrant pain. Marizzi syndrome is often not recognized preoperatively in patients undergoing cholecystectomy and can lead to significant morbidity and biliary injury, particularly with laparoscopic surgery. Marizzi syndrome is estimated to occur in 0.05 to 4% of patients undergoing surgery for cholelithiasis. Approximately 50 to 77% of patients with Marizzi syndrome are women, which may in part be due to a higher incidence of gallstones in women. The gallbladder consists of the fundus, body, infundibulum, and neck. The body extends from the fundus into the tapered portion, or neck. The neck usually forms a gentle curve, the convexity of which forms the infundibulum, or Hartmann's pouch. The gallbladder is connected at its neck to the cystic duct which empties into the common bile duct. Large gallstones can become impacted in the cystic duct or the infundibulum. These stones can produce common hepatic duct obstruction by mechanical obstruction of the hepatic duct because of the proximity of the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct, and secondary inflammation with frequent episodes of cholangitis. In rare cases, chronic inflammation may result in bile duct wall necrosis and erosion of the anterior or lateral wall of the common bile duct by impacted stones leading to chole cystibiliary cholecystohepatic or cholecystocholodocal fistula. Marizzi syndrome has been classified based on the presence and extent of a chole cystibiliary fistula. Type 1. External compression of the common hepatic duct due to a stone impacted at the neck, infundibulum of the gallbladder or at the cystic duct. Type 2. The fistula involves less than one-third of the circumference of the common bile duct. Type 3. Involvement of between one-third and two-thirds of the circumference of the common bile duct. Type 4. Destruction of the entire wall of the common bile duct. Patients with Marizzi syndrome can present with jaundice, fever, and right upper quadrant pain. However, all three symptoms are only present in 44 to 71 percent of patients. The major laboratory findings are elevations in the serum concentrations of alkaline phosphatase and bilirubin in over 90 percent of patients. Ultrasonography in patients with Marizzi syndrome generally reveals gallstones and a contracted gallbladder. Features suggestive of Marizzi syndrome include dilatation of the biliary system above the level of the gallbladder neck, the presence of a stone impacted in the gallbladder neck, an abrupt change to a normal width of the common duct below the level of the stone. However, the diagnosis of Marizzi syndrome is often difficult because of the close proximity of the cystic and the common bile duct. The sensitivity of abdominal ultrasound in the diagnosis of MI. Abdominal CT scan can ascertain if malignancy is present by revealing enlarged porta hepatis lymph nodes or hepatic infiltration or metastasis. MRCP has a high sensitivity for Marizzi syndrome. It can also determine the extent of pericholecystic inflammation and aid in the differentiation of Marizzi syndrome from other gallbladder pathologies such as gallbladder malignancy. We perform endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography ERCP, to confirm the diagnosis of Marizzi syndrome and determine if a chole cystibiliary fistula is present. Percutaneous transhepatic cholangiography PTC, is typically reserved for patients who are not candidates for ERCP, who have failed ERCP, or who have surgically altered anatomy preventing endoscopic access to the biliary tree. Diagnostic findings of Marizzi syndrome on cholangiography are an eccentric or excavating defect on lateral wall of the common bile duct at the level of cystic duct or gallbladder neck. Surgery is the mainstay of therapy for Marizzi syndrome, permitting removal of the causal factors, the inflamed gallbladder and the impacted stone. If the diagnosis of Marizzi syndrome is made preoperatively, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography can be both diagnostic and therapeutic as a temporizing measure before surgery, as stenting across the obstruction allows decompression of the common bile duct in patients with obstructive jaundice or cholangitis. If Marizzi syndrome is diagnosed incidentally at the time of cholecystectomy, intraoperative cholangiogram should be performed prior to cholecystectomy to confirm the diagnosis and characterize the biliary anatomy. 
For patients who are unsuitable surgical candidates, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography with stenting can be definitive treatment for Marizzi syndrome. The surgical approach to Marizzi syndrome is based on the presence and type of chole cystobiliary fistula. Type 1, partial or total cholecystectomy, either laparoscopic or open. Common bile duct exploration is typically not required. Type 2, cholecystectomy plus closure of the fistula, either by suture repair with absorbable material, T-tube placement, or coleticoplasty with the remnant gallbladder. Type 3, coleticoplasty or bilioenteric anastomosis. Suture of the fistula is not indicated. Type 4, bilioenteric anastomosis, typically coleticojejunostomy, is preferred because the entire wall of the common bile duct has been destroyed. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography and sphincterotomy allows for biliary decompression by internal stenting in patients with obstructive jaundice or cholangitis, 